So today we're making probably my favorite cookie recipe that I've made in a while, so here's how I made it. So compared to my OG recipe, I adjusted the brown sugar and added a little bit more because I wanted the center of the cookies to be a little bit more chewy. So here I'm just adding our sugars and butter together and we're going to mix it for about two minutes until well combined. I also added an extra stick of butter to this recipe because I wanted the cookies to spread out a little bit more than my last recipe. But now that our butter and sugars are combined, we're going to add two eggs one at a time as well as vanilla extract and two tablespoons of milk. Mix until well combined, but make sure not to over mix your batter. And then we're going to add in all of our dry ingredients. I also added cinnamon into this recipe, but if you don't like cinnamon, don't add it. I just think cinnamon complements chocolate chip cookies extremely well. Now we're gonna add in four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and four ounces of milk chocolate. If you don't like milk chocolate, use dark chocolate. And then I use a standard cookie scoop to scoop out the cookies. I also added extra chunks of chocolate on top of the cookie dough before I baked them and then fresh out of the oven, added some flaky salt. And also an important tip, only bake one cookie the first time around because once your cookie sheet is warm from the oven, the second batch usually comes out slightly different anyway. So that's usually how I avoid it. And you're done. <laughs> later <laughs> eleven minutes later people have told me that these are the best cookies that they've ever had in their life so if you want to make cookies that are that good this is how in a large bowl add a cup of brown butter half a cup of granulated sugar and one and a quarter cup of brown sugar Set that aside and in another bowl, add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of bread flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then one teaspoon of sea salt. Now back to our butter and sugar mixture, we're going to crack in two large eggs and one extra egg yolk, and then add two teaspoons of vanilla, mix that together, dump in your dry ingredients, give that a mix. Now add your chocolate. I like to do semi-sweet chocolate chips and milk chocolate chunks. I like to portion my cookie dough and freeze it so that I can just bake fresh cookies each time. They just need 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes if they're frozen, and that's it. Enjoy. It's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to make the best chocolate chip cookie of your entire life. I mean, just look at this. These cookies are crispy on the edges, ooey, gooey, chewy in the middle, and just oozing with chocolate. Start with 10 tablespoons of butter. Just keep stirring on medium low heat until the butter becomes brown. At this point, the butter will start to smell toasty and sweet. 3 4 cups of brown sugar, 1 4 cup of white sugar, a little dash of vanilla. Now you're going to stir this on low heat for 2 minutes. We're basically initiating the caramelization process for our sugars. Now we're going to let this cool down for five minutes. One egg and one yolk. Whisk them in for a minute. We should have a really smooth caramelly mixture. Now it's time for our dry ingredients. One and a third cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a fourth of a teaspoon baking soda, and three, four teaspoons of salt. You always want to sift in your dry ingredients. And we're going to gently fold in four ounces of milk chocolate and four ounces of dark chocolate. You can also just do eight ounces of semi-sweet. You always want to do chopped chocolate instead of chocolate chips in your cookies because chocolate chips have stabilizers in them, so they're not going to create those yummy molten pools of chocolate. I know this looks like a lot of chocolate, but let's be honest, this is the star of the show. And now we're going to fold in the chocolate and it's time to scoop. 
I like to add a little extra chopped chocolate on top because it makes them look prettier. Now you want to chill these for at least 30 minutes, but ideally two hours. Six cookies per tray because these are going to be big boys. Bake at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now these are going to be a little bit soft to touch when they come out of the oven, but don't overbake them. They will solidify as they cool down. Oh my gosh, tell me those don't look heavenly. Mmm. Wow. It does not get much better than this. You guys absolutely need to try this recipe. If you love Nutella as much as I do, then you're absolutely going to love these Nutella stuffed cookies. We're going to start by melting some butter and mixing white sugar and brown sugar together. Once that's well combined, we're going to crack an egg in, followed by some vanilla and mix that baby up. We're then going to add our dry ingredients, the flour and the baking soda and mix that till we have a dough like this. I then chopped up a milk chocolate bar into chunks like this and added that to the dough. And then you're gonna chill the dough. For the Nutella filling, I take teaspoons of Nutella on a baking dish and freeze that till it's solid like this. And then you're gonna take your chilled dough, take a nice big scoop, make a dent in the middle and add your frozen Nutella inside. And then you're gonna cover it up like this, make it nice and smooth and place it on a baking dish and bake. And there you have it. It's day 7 of 30 days of Ramadan recipes and for today's recipe we are going to be making my classic most popular brown butter chocolate chip cookies. These cookies are super amazing, especially for a Ramadan treat because you can make a batch on Monday and then enjoy them throughout the week with your iftar, with your suhoor because they will just taste more amazing as the days go on and they are honestly the perfect cookie and everyone's going to love them, so let's make them together. The first step to making these cookies is to brown our butter and then once our butter is browned we are going to add our sugars into it i like using a combination of granulated white sugar as well as light brown sugar and then we are going to combine the sugars into the butter till we have a beautiful homogeneous mixture which smells absolutely heavenly we are also going to add a healthy splash of vanilla extract which will give the most beautiful fragrance and taste to our cookies and then follow that up by one large egg and that completes all of the wet ingredients for our cookie batter. Like I said, these cookies are super delicious, but also very easy to make. And so they are perfect to make this Ramadan. Finally, we're going to add all of our dry ingredients, our flour, our baking soda, and just a little bit of salt to bring out all the amazing flavors. And then just combine everything together till you have a beautiful cookie dough. Finally, we can't forget the last and most important ingredient, which are our chocolate chips. I don't measure how many chocolate chips I put. You don't have to either because in my opinion, chocolate isn't an ingredient that you need to measure. And now just look at how delicious and amazing that cookie dough looks. I feel like making another batch right now because my batch just finished. Once your cookie dough is complete, you're going to divide it into individual dough balls. Let those dough balls rest in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to an hour and then bake at 350 for 12 minutes and now enjoy. <laughs> 